Hi, this is Jerry at Hot Rods by Dean, Phoenix, Arizona. And today we're gonna to do a little aluminum welding and we're gonna use the portable Miller Arc Station here uh, with, with the clamps. Of course, we're gonna use our DX Dynasty welder and we'll be uh, welding aluminum of two different thicknesses, which is always a little bit tricky. Today we're gonna to, we're gonna weld this flange onto this piece of 065. This is 90, and uh, we're gonna use the clamps and everything. When you weld aluminum, it expands and contracts so much that you really want to be able to tack this thing a lot to make sure that when you weld your bead, that it doesn't go anywhere and create a bunch of wavy parts, which really you don't want. What we're going to do is we're going to clamp this on here. The thing about welding, any kind of welding, is be comfortable, make sure your material is not going to move, and uh, that's 90% of the, of the process that, that really works. So we're going to go ahead and clamp this down, get our edges lined up where they need to go. This is going to allow us to tack this in the proper position. The aluminum that we're welding is a 5052 alloy. Today we'll be using a uh, 332nd tungsten, a gas lens, and a no number seven gas lens cup. And the reason I like to use that, especially on a 90 degree uh, edge like this, you get a lot better argon coverage and you don't run the chance of having uh, an eddy of argon come over and expose it to the, to the air, which you don't want. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna tack this in several places just to get it started. And uh, I'm gonna tack it on each end in these corners and we'll go from there. Now we've got this tacked on the two ends in the corners but the thing about aluminum is, it really likes to walk with the heat. So what we want to do is we want to tack this very close as we go along, and then when we weld it, it'll keep, keep the warpage to an absolute minimum. Okay, now we've got our tacks probably about every inch or so, and we know that this flange is not gonna move, and we can proceed to start welding now. Okay, for our aluminum process today, we're gonna weld it about 100 amps, thereabouts, uh, and we're gonna put our balance at about 80 because we don't need a lot of cleaning on the aluminum because it's brand new aluminum. As you can see, we've got our piece finished here. By tacking it every inch or so, the warpage was kept to a minimum amount. And uh, I welded this one just a little bit heavy because we're gonna finish this edge. We're gonna grind that edge. Uh, if, if you wanted to have a, a weld show, you could have got it just a little bit hotter. But uh, for my purposes, I wanted that bead to be a little bit proud. The other thing I can't stress enough is you have to be comfortable to a TIG weld properly. Uh, a lot of guys try to stand and, and hold themselves. If you're doing that, it's gonna affect the way you hold the torch, it's gonna affect the way you run your bead. So I can't stress enough to be comfortable where you're not holding yourself and uh, it's gonna make your welding a lot easier. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention today is the uh, Biller wireless pedal. If you've ever been upside down, backwards, in a car, running the pedal with your foot or your elbow, uh, this thing is great. You're not limited by where the wire goes. You can put it about anywhere, and uh, it's just one thing that I really, really like. For more information on the great Miller products that we've used today, go to MillerWelds.com. And for the information at the shop here at Hot Rods by Dean, you can go to our website at HotRodsByDean.com and we're really excited about doing the 2016 Street Rotter Fairlane Road Tour car.